The objective of this video is to provide visual information on how to set up and complete the Pulley Lab. As for objective for this lab is to investigate three pulley systems and compare the force required to lift the same weight. The procedure. You will assemble each pulley system using the materials provided on your lab station. Draw a diagram for each arrangement, record your measurements, and write a conclusion. Let's start with some basics about pulley before proceed with this practical lab. Use the pulley when you raise a flag on a flagpole or when you open and close window blinds. You are using pulley. Pulley can make work easier in two ways, by decreasing the amount of force needed to lift and by changing the direction of the pulling force. These are some industrial applications examples. How it works. A pulley is made of a groove wheel with a rope or cable wrapped around it. This is a lab pulley. Types of pulley. So, when the pulley is attached to a structure, we call a fixed pulley. When it's not attached to a structure, we call movable pulley. And when combine the fixed and movable type of pulleys in the same system, we call compound pulley. To complete this lab, you need the following materials. Two lab stands, one rod, two clamps, two paper clips with hooks, one regular paper clip, a 500 grams lab weight, one spring scale up to 500 grams, one scissor, and two string with different lengths. One is 50 centimeters, the other one is 100 centimeters. Make a loop on each end of the string and make sure that the shortest one is no less than about 37 centimeter. And the longest one, you'll be around 85 centimeters. Let's start with attach each clamp on the lab stand. Slide a rod through each clamp. And when you set up everything, the two lab stands, the clamps, and the rod, it should look like this. Fix pulley setup. Attach one clip on the rod and hook a pulley. Thread the shortest string through the top of the pulley. Hold both ends together. Attach the weight at the end of the string and attach the spring scale at the other end. Pull the weight downward using the scale and read this measurement. Fix pulley results. The spring scale indicates about the same mass as the lifted weight. However, the direction of the force has changed, making it easier to pull. For this arrangement, there isn't a decrease of the pulling force. However, it's easier to pull because the direction has changed. Movable pulley setup. Thread the shortest string through the bottom of the pulley. Attach one end of the string, a paper clip, and wrap it around the clip on the rod. Attach the scale on the other end of the string and lift it upright. Movable pulley results. The spring scale indicates half of the lift weight, which means that the pulling force is reduced by half. 
the pulling force direction did not change. Compound pulley setup. Attach two clips on the rod with a distance around 15 centimeters apart. Hook a pulley on each clip. Here we have a series of steps. Step one, use the longest string and attach the weight. Step two and three, thread the end of the string that is attached to the weight through the top of the pulley. Step four, hook the third pulley to the weight and thread the other end of the string through the bottom of this pulley. The string through the movable pulley should look like this. Thread the other end of the string through the top of the pulley attached on the rod. Attach the spring scale and hold downwards. Let's flip this scale. The pulling force was reduced around one third. Compound pulley results. The spring scale indicates the pulling force was greatly reduced from 500 grams and here is about 130 grams. In addition, the direction of the force also changed, in this case is downward. For this arrangement, the pulling force decreases with a change in direction, make it the most efficient way to lift weight. So that's all and uh, have fun labbing.